Hi, members of the campus community. I thought I'd take the chance to touch base with you here at the midpoint of the summer and a lot still happening on campus with camps and summer school and lots of activities. Um, but over the last week, we've had nearly 1,500 future students, new students, come to campus for new student orientation. And they were joined by many family members, thousands of them. And they descended upon our campus uh, to receive information about, about what it takes to get ready for the fall semester and all the transition information that they need to make a smooth transition here at UND. And I thank all of the members of the Division of Student Affairs and many others from across the campus who made this great event happen. And lots of green and pink, uh, the traditional colors of the university, were seen not only here at the Memorial Union, but also uh, all across the campus. And of course, all of these activities make us UND proud. I also want to draw your attention to the fact that Friday, August 4th at 3 p.m., we will host our summer commencement ceremony at the Chester Fritz Auditorium. This is a chance for us to honor our 540 graduates, undergrads, graduate students, professional students, as they finish their de degrees here at UND and get ready for the next phase of their life. We will welcome our guest speaker, our commencement speaker, Professor Susan Feligi, uh, who is a professor of biology here at UND, an extraordinary professor, an outstanding colleague, and I look forward to the message that she'll deliver to all of our students on that important day. And the final bit of news I wanted to bring to you is that somebody close to me um, has uh, opted to retire, and she'll be retiring at the end of this month. And this is Chris Noss. Chris has served on the president's staff, has been a vital part of my first three years here at UND. And before her role in the president's office, Chris served uh, admirably over at the Odegaard School of Aerospace Sciences. Chris was known for her her, her outreach, her kindness, and the impact that she had on so many, from faculty members uh, to staff members to alumni to students. Uh, Chris has done it all here, and her, her, her retirement and her absence will certainly be missed. And so, Chris, we love you, and we thank you for all that you've done for the University of North Dakota. And with that, let me sign off, and uh, we'll see you probably in the next two weeks. Take care, everyone.